on Wednesday, June 5, the CST-100 Starliner lifted off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sinita Williams bound for the International Space Station, or ISS. The astronauts will then spend just over a week at the orbiting lab before climbing back into the capsule for a remote desert touchdown in the western U.S. on June 14. Wednesday's launch marks Boeing's third attempt after years of delays and technical problems as well as scrapped countdowns before liftoff. In 2019, Starliner's initial crewless test flight was crippled by software issues, while 2022's do-over suffered parachute mishaps. And most recently, last weekend, a small helium leak in a spacecraft's propulsion system was also detected. Despite the spacecraft's flaws and the company's struggles with aircraft safety lately, the astronaut pair Wilmore and Williams expressed their full confidence in Boeing's ability to get it right with this test flight. This test flight is a requirement for the Starliner to become NASA certified for routine astronaut missions. Some of the capsule's flight objectives include execution of precise maneuvers to dock with the ISS, demonstration of its ability to remain docked for about 8 days, and the safe return of the crew to Earth. Boeing's recruited alongside SpaceX in 2014, in the wake of NASA's Space Shuttle's retirement. The space agency will be paying 4.2 billion US dollars to Boeing and just over half of the amount to SpaceX. If the mission is successful, NASA will alternate between SpaceX and Boeing for taxi flights beginning 2025. Paul Kocholian, UNTV News and Rescue, we serve the people. We give glory to God.